Are you tired of doing it like this? And you actually want to do a time lapse? I had absolutely no clue on how to do a time lapse. So I did like everyone else. I went to YouTube. There I found a way to make my iPhone possible to do a time lapse. And here is how I did it. I had this remote trigger for my iPhone and all I had to do was create a way for the printing head to push the button so my phone will take a picture. I went to Tinkercad and I created one base for the remote trigger and I created one arm which can push the trigger. And here are the final results. Even though I feel like an engineer, don't mind the prototype already mounted. I just use some double sided tape and I make sure the arm hits the button. So after getting everything to fit I had to figure out where on the x-axis it would push the button. Let's listen for that click. And to be sure, let's do it again. This is important for the next step. Let's head over to Cura. I have the Cura 5.2.2. And for this tutorial, I only took a small uh, model to print. If you look up in the left corner, you'll find extensions. Under extensions, you go to post processing and then modify G code. Add a new script, scroll down to time lapse. Here you can make some changes for your printer. I changed the pass time to 600, 500 because you can trigger the button too long or it will record instead of taking a photo. And here is where we have our X axel. This we changed to 203 or whatever you get. The park feed rate is how fast the head will move around and uh, the retraction distance should be somewhere between 4 and 7 millimeters uh, is what I have learned so there will not be so much stringing to the print. When done you will see this little icon down in the right and that will show you you have your g-code done. And you can access it just by clicking on it. If you press the slice button, it will not show you the extra time it takes. And in this case, there will be 43 layers, so it will be 43 pictures. And if you want to turn your G code off again, you just click the little icon. And then just click the X to delete the script. And here is what it should look like after. Then you just transfer all your pictures to your computer or laptop. And I use this free video editing program called HitFilm. 
up in the left corner, you press the create new and OK. Down in the left window, you press media and import and choose image sequence. Go to your folder where you put all your images and just select them all and open them. And your time lapse is done. Now you just have to export, uh, choose the quality you want to download and it's done. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy, see you next time.